Hey guys, it's Emma. If you're new here, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, long time no see. I'm so sorry. I got my wisdom teeth out, like I told you guys, and then proceeded to get two dry sockets and then have one of those dry sockets heal and then collapse. So, <laughs> I've been in a lot of pain. I'm also looking a little crazy right now because it is the day that I leave and I have been kind of running around, but I need to film this video <laughs> before I leave because I want to put it out and just kind of talk to you guys about what I'm doing, we're moving, and answer some of your questions about school, both college and high school. I did put up a video asking for questions. I got a few and I had some on my other videos. So I'll be answering those as well as like some frequently asked questions type stuff, just kind of introducing you guys to who I am if you're new here and if you haven't been watching for a while and also answering your questions. Okay, so first off, just for an introduction, my name is Emma. I live in the United States and my dream and goal has always been to go study in the UK, specifically at the University of St. Andrews. And obviously we made it happen because we're going. I'm studying English and International Relations in a joint major for the minute. And also one great thing about St. Andrews is you can kind of change it. So who knows what my actual major will end up being, but for now that's it. And those will be the classes that I'm taking at university. Now, most of you probably saw my decision through my college decision video. So I'm gonna be answering some questions from those videos and kind of like the St. Andrews videos that I've made up until then. So the first one is from Jasmine Zhang. She says, hi, congrats. I was wondering if you applied to St. Andrews through UCAS or the Common App and if you have recommendations for the personal statement. So I applied to St. Andrews through UCAS. I did five schools through UCAS as is like the norm. St. Andrews was obviously one of them. And in terms of advice for kind of like any college essays or personal statements, I get this question a lot. And my favorite kind of like advice and the best I don't even know advice I've ever gotten is that college applications and essays, especially like the personal statement for UCAS, basically you have to understand that colleges are institutions and in order to write a good letter and an essay, you have to represent yourself, but you also kind of have to pitch and sell yourself because at the end of the day, they're still a business and they're looking to invest in bright and like capable students that will help them kind of get a return on investment by being successful later in their career and then maybe donating to the university. So this all sounds a little like pessimistic, but I swear it really helped with me because it allowed me to kind of promote my biggest strengths, which is like my activity and writing and stuff. And the fact that I've already done a lot of progress and worked on my writing like outside of school and pitch that as kind of like my strength. And it ended up working out for me, obviously. So that's kind of my best advice is pick a skill or something unique about you. Obviously don't like make something up, make it unique to you not even just unique but something you genuinely care about and have worked on and kind of pitch yourself because in the at the end of the day you are selling yourself through this personal statement and kind of trying to present a version of yourself the colleges would be like yes that would be a great student and a successful one in the future i got another one about the personal statement from margaret same thing just try to pitch yourself and but also like be yourself include it aspects for example like for my personal statement what i wrote is i w wrote about the books that kind of like shaped me as well as the writing projects that kind of correspond corresponded with the book that i read at the time and how like i changed along with my work and my reading like that sounds a little convoluted but i swear it made sense and it kind of talked about my writing accomplishments while also kind of communicating my passion for reading and other interests of mine so i was really proud of it now this question is from ellie Hello, I really want to go to St. Andrews and I already live in Scotland, but my family doesn't have a lot of money. I was just wondering if you knew what kind of financial support St. Andrews has. Okay, so I know they have more financial support for Scottish students just because I was looking at the scholarships and applying. I'm so grateful that my parents are providing for me and helping me go to college. I truly wouldn't be able to do it without them. And again, I'm not super well versed in like the home scholarships like the scholarships for the Scottish students I know there is like one international excellence scholarship that I tried for um there's not necessarily as much support for international students but I think there is more support from for Scottish students from memory but I may be wrong okay so then I got another comment from Margaret saying hi do you have any helpful advice on study techniques I would love to hear your opinion Okay, so this is definitely kind of more high school applicable, or at least I've only studied in a high school setting. But my favorite thing to do was always 
Pomodoro, which is like where you set a 20 minute timer, you do 20 minutes on, five minutes off, and just like keep going. You have to keep yourself accountable. You can have that break time, but you need to stick to it. Honestly, studying and being diligent and I guess just like not procrastinating in general is a lot about, at least for me, how I think about it is like showing up for myself. Like I'm not gonna let myself down and just totally slack off. It's the same thing with working out. Like I'm doing something and putting in the effort for myself. And I try to think about that with studying as well. I think the Pomodoro method works really well because you can take breaks if you are someone that like is like oh I don't want to study like me but you're also putting in a lot of work and getting it done and you have something keeping you accountable which is like the timer also I really liked to try to try to get on my stuff right as it was assigned I know that's easier said than done especially in high school when you're going seven hours a day and whatever else and don't get me wrong I definitely fell behind with swimming and stuff sometimes but as soon as stuff was assigned, I tried to at least get on it or get ahead. And another thing that, <laughs> it doesn't sound great, but I swear it is so applicable, especially as you go through high school, is learning what needs to be done and what maybe like doesn't. And hear me out on this real quick, because I had a lot of teachers that would assign us like crazy busy work. For example, in A push, we were assigned like a chapter of the textbook and all the stuff. But did I really need to read the chapter of the textbook if the teacher provided a video summarizing it like that type of stuff learning how to prioritize your time and for example like if someone's giving you busy work that's maybe not your priority the priority should be like your harder task that's going to take more time and need a lot more effort and it's just kind of learning what is important and I know sometimes it can be really easy to be like oh I'll just do the busy work because that's easy and I can like procrastinate or watch something at the same time but you need to get that hard stuff out of the way or at least make some progress on it I'd say when you're studying to kind of be able to stay on top of things and just be a good student in general so I would say learn how to prioritize as well <laughs> now I also got one of how did you decide what to bring for college so this is funny because like I said I'm literally leaving today I'm leaving later in the day so that's why I'm like able to film and kind of still pack and stuff I'm not totally running around but basically I am only packing my clothes and if you haven't seen my like digitally cataloging my wardrobe video I'd recommend you watch it should be like up there and those were literally all the clothes that I'm bringing for college there's admittedly a lot but especially in Scotland you have to kind of be able to like layer and take things on and off so I am bringing a lot of clothes but I'm bringing them mostly for a reason and that is genuinely pretty much all I'm bringing to school I am bringing like toiletries and makeup and um, like shampoo and conditioner and stuff like I'm bringing that sort of like those sort of like hygiene products and stuff that was one other thing I had packed I also packed um <laughs> sorry I think my parent is leaving I also packed my electronics just like a speaker I have a really nice projector and my roommate and I have been talking about doing like movie nights I finally found her so I packed that stuff but other than like electronics and toiletries it was basically just clothes and then maybe like a few keepsakes like stuff that my friend made for me or just like some stuffed animals and stuff to bring a little bit of that like home comfort with me but I try not to bring too many of those things because at the end of the day I'll still have my childhood bedroom and stuff and I need to be kind of like creating a new chapter so I brought a few sentimental things but I'd say like not too many okay so those are all the questions I got from you guys if you have any more feel free to leave them down below I'm definitely gonna be making a lot more videos about college and St. Andrews in fact I'm probably gonna start my next one like right away but I wanted to sit down and get this Q&A video out because I've been asking you guys for questions and I know I've had a lot of questions on like my college decision video and other stuff if there were any that you asked that I didn't answer because I know there were a lot of comments in that video again feel free to leave them down below but otherwise I'm gonna go move to Scotland and I'll see you guys I guess when I leave oh, it's been so crazy I don't know I've mostly mentally been okay I did have a little bit of a moment last night my like <laughs> mom and I didn't really know that our student visa it's like a stamp in your passport basically but there's very little information about what it actually is and so we we're like oh my god we don't have my visa and then we called my friend and she was like it's literally in your passport and there it was so I've definitely been having a few moments just with getting organized and saying goodbye to people that's been really hard I had to say goodbye to my grandma who I love so so much and I'm have to, gonna have to say goodbye to my sisters this afternoon so it's definitely gonna be a lot but I'm really excited I'm going early um it's currently September 1st so I'm gonna get there on the 2nd I'm going early because I'm gonna do some of the swim pre-arrival activities and like the training and stuff so literally tomorrow on the 2nd I'm going to a water park with the team and I think I'm doing practice as well so I'm excited and it's gonna be fun to make some friends so yeah 
that is my update i'm so sorry i've been gone for so long and again thank you for your questions i am gonna go move to scotland i guess bye guys